it can happen to anybody. Doesn't matter who you are or where you live or what your family history is like. It's devastating news and it hits you like a ton of bricks. Here is a healthy, spunky, fun kid and all of a sudden his family is hit with a bombshell. While I took a shower, when I got up, my mom noticed that my leg was looking kind of bumpy, like weird, like there's a hill. She knew it wasn't a good sign, but she didn't know what it was. So she's an x-ray technician. Next day, she took me to where she works, and she did an x-ray, and she saw that the bone wasn't, it was like, crushed or eaten, I don't, I don't know exactly. The doctor told me, my mom and my dad, that it's cancer. And they were devastated, but I didn't know exactly what it was. I had another biopsy and we went to the doctors and they already said we tried everything that we could. We started a campaign to get to USA. We didn't even know exactly where we were going. It turned out that MD Anderson is the best place in the world for cancer. It was very difficult to be far from home, far from family, in a place where I don't even know what awaits me. I had to leave all my friends behind and my family. I didn't know where we would go. I didn't know where we would live. It worried me very much. Together with all the uncertainty about his illness, and by chance, my friend found Aishel House on the internet. And I guess we pretty much found out that this is a place for people who are sick and come from all over the world. Rachel was so warm. She immediately replied that she'd be very happy to welcome us. And she even asked, not only what time are we arriving, but what does Tommy like to eat, so that she could prepare it for him. This warmed my heart. I understood that I am coming to a place that is, that's just like coming to family. She very much wanted us to feel that we are coming to family. I see Rachel as a friend, a very dear friend. She gives me tremendous strength. For a nine-year-old boy, a hospital, it's just big and it's full of um, sick people and you wonder which one of them has cancer, is he like you, are you going to be like him? It takes care of sick people, but how does it really look like? It looks like hell or something. I met two friends there. I still know them and I still remember them until today. One of them died from cancer. He was only 10 or 11 years old. He was a really good friend of mine and he died, but I guess he's in a better place right now. I don't know. Losing a friend, battling the same illness, has got to be so devastating. Tommy's resilience, insight, and maturity amazes us all. We're constantly reminded how important it is to provide emotional and spiritual support. Loneliness is not one of the things we want any of our patients to experience if we can help it. A lot of stuff makes the time go slow, like when you get chemo, you don't really, you don't do anything, you just stare at the wall or something. Sometimes when you think about something or when you do something interesting, then the time goes by really quick. When he arrived and I saw this spunky young kid, I right away realized that every patient has different needs. This kid's gonna need friends, fun, and just a lot of distraction. One day, um, Rachel asked me if I wanted to have an Xbox. When Tommy showed interest that he wanted the Xbox, and he sent out this email, I mean, within minutes, Julius answered he can do it. A lot of other people answered. Ben answered, but it was too late for him to spawn, so we said, hey, you wanna take him out shopping? So Ben took him shopping, Julius sponsored. It was like, within minutes, he couldn't believe his good fortune that he just said it and then they, all of a sudden they brought it. I'm grateful. It really helped me passing the time. It you know, make the time go quicker. Julius Danziger, if you're watching this, I really want to say thank you. 
I like to brag that our volunteers have hearts the size of Texas. There's never anything too much, too little, too great, or too late to do for the patient. And the patients feel it. And when the patients recognize that these volunteers will go to the nth degree, they really feel at home, because then they know they're with family. Then comes Mr. Ami Fishman. He is simply an amazing person. During the first month, he escorted us literally every day, and he did it with such joy. I would like to thank all the supporters of HLASP. I know that I'm not only speaking for myself, I know that everyone feels that way. I don't think there's a better place right now than Asia Labs. Together we can make a difference. One child at a time, one patient at a time, one family at a time. Because we truly are one family. Ani. I truly believe that there are very few people like you in the world. Bennett.